Veronica here. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day wherever they are in the world. 2023, you guys, was an absolutely insane year for us cozy gamers because we were truly so unbelievably spoiled rotten with so many phenomenal, beautiful, precious cozy games. So much so, I'm still working on what seems like a never-ending backlog of games that I discovered and loved and am still playing from last year. Hopefully some of you are still in the same boat. For today's video, we're going to be going over my top 10 new cozy games coming out this year in 2024. And I know for a fact that 2024 is going to be another epic year for us cozy gamers. Now let us all know in the comments down below what is your most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year. We would love to know. Before we get started you guys please like this video, please subscribe to my channel so that you are notified of every time I upload a cozy gaming video including part two and possibly part three of this series because that's how many cozy games are coming out this year. It's mind-blowing. Make sure to get a cozy warm cup of tea or coffee, a warm blanket, a yummy snack, and let's get cozy. And I also have my Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, but I have my epic Harry Potter mug. I'll do a zoom in for you guys, but it's so pretty. And I have some decaf coffee. Now my first most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Princess Peach Showtime. I'm so unbelievably excited that Princess Peach gets her own video game because she is truly one of my favorite video game characters of all time. I mean, who doesn't love Princess Peach? <laughs> What we know so far is in Princess Peach Showtime, the Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch have taken over the Sparkle Theater. In this epic game, we're going to see Princess Peach transform into Ninja Peach, Detective Peach, Swordfighter Peach, Cowgirl Peach, and much more in order to save the Sparkle Theater and defeat the Sour Bunch. And just in case any of y'all missed the announcement, Nintendo will be releasing limited edition pastel pink Joy-Cons on release date in celebration of Princess Peach Showtime. Now, these Joy-Cons look absolutely gorgeous, and I am a firm believer that you can never have too many Joy-Cons. I just hope that the Nintendo Switch 2, like, accepts the Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch so we can use the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons on the Nintendo Switch 2. Fingers crossed. Princess Peach Showtime is going to be releasing on the Nintendo Switch on March 22nd, which is right around the corner, you guys, so mark your calendars. And just in case y'all may or may not have noticed, I'm wearing my I'll have the Mega Pint sweatshirt. <laughs> So I love this sweatshirt. I'll link it down below. I got it on Etsy and I'll also link down below that clip from the trial if any of y'all haven't seen it because it's honestly hysterical. So I love this sweatshirt so much. <laughs> and shout out to Johnny Depp who's my favorite actor of all time. Now my second most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. You Luigi Mansions 3 fans, including me, I'm a huge fan of this game, are going to love this one. If you didn't know, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is a remaster of the Nintendo 3DS game Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. In the spooky adventure game, you get to have a blast exploring and ghost hunting in several different haunted mansions with Luigi's Poltergust 5,000. <laughs> when I when I read that, I instantly thought of Harry Potter Nimbus 2000. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> you'll have a lot of fun capturing clever ghosts, solving puzzles with the goal of restoring the dark moon over Evershade Valley to its rightful place in the sky, 
Boy. This Nintendo game looks perfect for anyone who is a huge fan of Luigi's Mansion 3 and a fantastic game to play during spooky season, aka October, aka my favorite time of year. <laughs> One of the best parts is that multiplayer will be an option, so you'll be able to play with up to three additional players, either locally or online, so you and your friends or family can play together. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD doesn't have a precise release date yet, but it is scheduled to come out on the Nintendo Switch this upcoming summer of 2024. My third most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Little Kitty Big City. Little Kitty Big City looks like such a wholesome and adorable combination between Stray, which is an epic game, and the Untitled Goose Game, which is an amazing cozy game, and I am totally here for it. In this cozy indie game, you'll play as a black kitty in a big city who is on a great adventure to find his way home. I'm a huge cat lover myself and black cats hold a very special place in my heart. I have two black cats of my own, Lagatha and Simba, and I hope this game helps people become less afraid of black cats and even inspires them to maybe want to adopt a black cat from a shelter. In this whimsical open world game, you get to an explore an exciting big city, complete quest make friends with adorable animals, wear insanely cute hats, and create a little bit of havoc as any rambunctious young kitty would do. If you're a huge cat lover like myself and you enjoyed the game Stray, an untitled goose game, then I have a feeling you're going to adore Little Kitty Big City. This serotonin inducing game looks like bunches of fun for people of all ages. We don't have an exact release date quite yet, but it is supposed to come out sometime this year in 2024. My fourth most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Fantasy Life The Girl Who Steals Time. This epic looking role playing cozy game is one I'm extremely excited about and I absolutely cannot wait to play. In Fantasy Life, you get to embark on a grand adventure on a ruined island in the seas of Riveria that takes place back in time a thousand years ago. You get to explore, make new friends, travel between past and present, restore the island, build the town of your dreams, make and decorate a cozy home, and so much more. A unique aspect of this game is you'll get to choose your occupation, with some of the job options being a farmer, an alchemist, a cook, a woodcutter, a hunter, an artist, or even a magician. And personally, I know that I'll probably choose the farmer or the artist option because I just love farming and games and I love gardening in real life. And I also have a very artistic flair and I love makeup and art, so I'll probably choose one of those. From the trailer we have so far, it reminds me of a combination between Roots of Pacha and Animal Crossing, and those are two of my favorite cozy games. We don't have an exact release date quite yet, but it's supposed to come out this summer of 2024. My fifth most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year in 2024 is Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. This cozy indie game that was inspired by Tove Jansen's work looks so incredibly unique from the adorable main character Snufkin to the beautiful storybook art style, I am already seriously obsessed, and I haven't even played it yet, but Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley is a Nordic musical adventure game in which the main character Snufkin, who is deeply connected with nature, is tasked with the important responsibility of restoring peace and harmony to Moomin Valley after just two many ugly, horrible parks were built in Moomin Valley, and they're hurting the balance and nature of the land. Along your journey, you'll get to meet, help, and talk to over 50 charming townsfolk and plenty of precious critters. 
Snuffkin will be an open world game where you'll get to explore Moomin Valley to your heart's content and there'll be lots of environmental and musical puzzles to solve, which I love myself a good puzzle. According to the game's website and Twitter, this enchanting cozy game will be releasing very, very soon on the PC, not only on the PC via Steam, but the Nintendo Switch, which is always phenomenal news, and mobile, which is just like, that's insane. That That's amazing. It'll be releasing in quarter one of 2024, and my heart couldn't be more excited. <laughs> My six most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year in 2024 is Moonlight Peaks. Moonlight Peaks looks like such a purely perfect mystical indie RPG and life sim game that's supposed to come out on the PC and Nintendo Switch. I'm completely obsessed with the entire aesthetic of this game. In the magical town of Moonlight Peaks, you'll play as a vampire where you get to create and tend to the supernatural farm of your dreams. You'll get to perfect your witchcraft by brewing potions, casting spells, and you'll even be able to befriend witches, mermaids, and werewolves. In the game, your goal is to create your own legacy after living in the shadow of your father, Count Dracula, for too long and you want to live a life of compassion towards others, which is not your typical perception of vampires. I'm personally a Scorpio, meaning I'm totally obsessed with all things supernatural and vampires, like I love The Vampire Diaries, Charmed, Van Helsing, the Underworld series with Kate Beckinsale. I can't even put into words how unbelievably excited I am for this magical vampire life sim cozy game that reminds me so much of a mystical version of Animal Crossing. If you didn't know, you can actually play a demo of Moonlight Peaks on Steam right now and the creators are always posting updates on their Twitter account about designs they're working on for the game which are always fun to see. Just search Moonlight Peaks on Twitter and while you're at it you can also search me on Twitter Heidi Veronica and go follow me there. My seventh most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Snacko. This precious indie adventure and farming life sim game sees you basically live your best cat life. I'm a proud mom of three cats, Lagatha, Ollie, and Simba, so I am always down to play a game that has cats in it. In Snacko, you play as a big city cat, Momo, and you leave your nine to five office job with your childhood best friend, Mikan, to start a brand new exciting life. You find yourself on a deserted island where your mission is to lift a mysterious curse and bring the island back to life. You have the opportunity to befriend and get to know 26 different characters. You'll also be able to farm with adorable farm animals. You'll get to cook, catch up to 20 different types of fish on the island, explore four different biomes, raise your very own super cute cows and chickens, in addition to build your own furniture and houses and decorate to your heart's content. I'm totally in love with the super colorful and unique combination of pixel and 3D art style. I'm so incredibly excited for this adorable, wholesome farming cat adventure life sim game that looks like a huge dose of serotonin for us cozy gamers. And in case you didn't know, Snacko is confirmed for the PC and Nintendo Switch, and it's actually available in early access on Steam right now, so go check that out if this looks like the cat-tastic game for you. <laughs> My eighth most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Bandletale, a League of Legends story. Now I've never played League of Legends, but from the adorable cat or hamster-like creatures called Yordles and the colorful and mystical art style we see in the trailer, it looks like a captivating cozy game that I didn't know I needed. This cozy game is also totally giving me Hamtaro vibes, if anyone remembers Hamtaro. 
Bandle Tale A League of Legends Story is a delightful crafting RPG life sim game that finds you as a yordle living on the island of Yarnville where you are enthralled with knitting. Armed with your unique and magical knitting capabilities, you and your new friends will embark on a venture to reunite and save the magical world of Bandle City. In this enchanting cozy life sim game, you'll be able to meet cute critters, use your magic to explore life beyond the Bandle Woods to five different islands, gather resources, craft, cook, build, make new friends, and bring your community of fellow yordles together by throwing fantastic festivals. I, lo I love that word. Fantastic? I, I love it. <laughs> There's also a talking sock in this game. Yes, you heard me right. There's a talking sock. So I'm very intrigued to meet this talking sock. <laughs> to me, this looks like a rare cozy game that I'm just going to become all consumed in, similar to Animal Crossing, Disney Dreamlight Valley, Fave Farm, Pow World, similar to all of those games that I was totally consumed in as well. All four of those games I became quite happily addicted to. <laughs> now I have some very exciting news for you guys. Bandle Tale, A League of Legends Story is in fact coming out on the PC via Steam, and on Steam it shows that Bandle Tale is Steam Deck verified, which is amazing. And the Nintendo Switch. It's going to come out on the Nintendo Switch this February 21st, which is literally right around the corner, so mark your calendars. My ninth most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. Now, several months ago, I came across their Twitter account and I was so obsessed with some of the beautiful screenshots I saw of this game. And I was totally enthralled with the entire aesthetic of this game from the witchy vibes, the purple colors, I love the color purple, and the adorable black cat, which as I mentioned, I have a very soft spot in my heart for black cats. Now, Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is actually an indie, casual, time management sim tool game. And the Steam page identifies it as a gamified focus tool. Essentially, in this focus tool, you're able to fully customize your character so you can express yourself through your character and customize your cozy virtual space and bedroom. You can play tranquil lo-fi music and soundscapes that help you when you're studying, focusing, or just relaxing. There are also some really helpful productivity tools within Spirit City, such as a to-do list, where you can check things off and feel accomplished. There's a timer and a journal where you can write down your thoughts and feelings and a habit tracker. One of my favorite parts is you get to discover and collect precious spirit companions, which looks so insanely adorable. I definitely find the concept of a gamified focus tool so brilliant, creative, and definitely needed, especially for anyone who's in school or in university, if you work from home, or if you just need a helpful tool for time management and productivity. Now, if you didn't know, there's actually a free demo on Steam. So if you wanna check this cozy focus tool out for yourself, you can. And even more exciting news is that Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions will be released on Steam on April 8th of this year, which is only just a couple months away. My 10th and final most anticipated new cozy game coming out this year is Tavern Talk. When I first saw the trailer for Tavern Talk, I instantly fell in love because it looks like a tavern version of Coffee Talk. Now, a fun fact about me, if you didn't know, is that Coffee Talk is literally one of my top three favorite games of all time. I absolutely adore narrative-driven cozy games. That's definitely one of my favorite genres. Tavern Talk, is an indie visual novel game where Coffee Talk meets Dungeons and Dragons. What a neat concept. <laughs> in Tavern Talk, instead of being a coffee shop owner like you are in Coffee Talk, you are a barkeeper in the fantasy land of a story 
euphoria. You get to listen to your customers' triumphs and tribulations. You get to know their unique personalities. In addition to listen to a plethora of fascinating stories about their grand adventures. In this fantastical cozy game with brilliant storytelling, you also have the ability to change the destinies of your customers forever by mixing and serving them different magical drinks and potions. At this cozy tavern, you're able to create a safe haven for your customers by decorating your tavern and helping them feel at home with your warmth and hospitality. I absolutely adore the beautiful art style and the mystical music in this game. Truthfully, I absolutely can't wait to cuddle up on my couch with a warm blanket or in my comfy cozy bed and play this magical narrative driven cozy game. Now some exciting news for you guys is that on Steam you have the ability to play a free demo of Tavern Talk right now so go tell me how you like it. Well friends that's it for my top 10 most anticipated new cozy games that are coming out this year in 2024. Definitely let us all know what is your most anticipated cozy game coming out this year in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell so that you are notified of every time I upload a video, especially when I upload part two of this series. If you'd like to see my top 10 Nintendo cozy games of 2023, then click this video here or here. I hope you all have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!